Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 episode 1. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you a family member, you one of my peoples, welcome back. I apologize in advance. I am still, I'm on the tail end of being sick. Like, your girl hasn't been outside of the house since Monday evening. And I was going through some things, scratching throat, all those things. Y'all heard me last week. And then we jump around like Thursday evening and this whatever I got going on, like leached on me and was like, no, nah, bro, the only thing you're going to be able to do is lay your tail on this couch, drink some more juice and eat some saltine crackers and be happy about that. So I'm, I'm still a little bit congested, but I am better. So I apologize if my voice sounds weird because I'm still a little bit of horse, still a little bit of congestion. But y'all ain't here for that. Y'all here to talk a little from to listen about Real Housewives of Atlanta. So we starting off with Kenya. She's saying that she has changed a lot since she has become a mother. And she had to kiss a lot of frogs to get to her prince. You know, season the first season she was on here. She was dating Walter and she did everything but begged this man to propose to her. And he wasn't really trying to do that. Like, word around town was that he was a bachelor and he, he enjoyed the ladies. And he wasn't really trying to, you know, be with one woman and get married and all those things at that time. Now, what has happened since then, I don't know. Then she got with Matt and then he turned out to be crazy, breaking out windows, showing up at um, functions where she was at, just being on the cusp of being domestically violent. So now she done found Mark. Now I'm going to say his name is Mark. And I do apologize if this is not that man's name. But she found him. They got married. They have this baby. And she thought that they were going to be spending a lot more time together as a family. But that has yet to happen because he lives and works in New York. And she lives and I guess has some things going on in Atlanta. So I was trying to figure out how that was going to work out. Like I don't follow any of these ladies on I don't follow anybody that's on any reality show on social media so I was trying to figure out how was that going to work with him living in New York and her living in Atlanta them being married and having a baby together Dennis over at Portis House has moved out she found some inappropriate what she felt was inappropriate things in his phone and therefore he moved out she found out that he had cheated while she was pregnant and all kinds of stories on the blogs came out and she hasn't gotten the truth. And now she's taken on both of their roles. It used to be like when she gets tired in the middle of the night, he'll get up, fix the baby bottle, change the baby, walk her back to sleep, all those things. But since he's gone, she hasn't been able to do those things. Her mom has been over there trying to love Make sure, you know, look at the baby her for her while she gets a good little nap in and making sure she's trying to eat but while she's doing it. Like Miss Diane over there just eating on eat she's supposed to fix a portion plate and she's over eating herself. And Portia, she got so and it it may be a little bit of her, her hormones and a little bit of depression that like she gets so that she don't want to even leave the house. She gets to get dressed in one hour turn to two next thing you know what's six o'clock at night and it's like what's the point of going outside and then it's the next day doing it all over and over again. It's it's overwhelming. Her hormones is all out of control. She's a little bit of depressed because what's going on with her and Dennis. She don't want to tell her mama and her sister what's going on. She just, you know, tells them just enough but not all what's going on. And she going through things right now. Candy, she's talking to her surrogate and seeing how, you know, things are going on with her. She did the right thing, unlike Kay Michelle. She went to Dr. Jackie because she had fibroids and she didn't want to go through that again. She's had multiple multiple fibroid surgery, surgeries and she didn't want to go through that again. So her next option is surrogate. They found a surrogate. Everything's fine. We just wasn't picking up people at Ikea. Just random people. Oh, I see how you with your kids, so therefore you make a good surrogate. No, she did the correct route, but she's feeling kind of sad because she didn't. She doesn't get to go through all the things of being pregnant, you know, feeling the baby kick, you know, getting the milk in her breast for the baby, like all those things. And she had to like really sit, sit, sit back and like release that onto somebody else. And Ace is like, he's happy because, like, you got my baby sister. Like, did you get my baby sister from the store? Because, like, he don't know where babies come from. He's, what, three years old? He's like, you can just go pick the baby up from the store. That's how he thought things rolled. Now, me as a child, my mama told me that I wanted 
a little brother when I was real little, really, really bad. But after watch, she was watching my little cousin and I seen how I wasn't getting the attention I needed. That I was like, you know what, I don't want a little brother. But I ended up with like a little sister. She's not my real little sister, but it was my little cousin that my aunt, my mom raised since she was like from the age, I want to say seven, until she turned 18. So she became my little sister. So it was cute because Ace was like, did you get her from the store? I'm like, Ace is just the cutest little thing ever. I'm just going to say that. Just as cute as he ever want to be. Eva, she is pregnant again and looking for a new house. You know, last season they moved out of her place into a different place. I think it was somebody put her information out on her. So they had to move somewhere else. And then she had a friend who was out here selling people. Like, telling anybody who would sit still enough to listen that Eva was going through financial troubles. But, like, she has been put with a task of finding a house that she wants and all of the things she wants in a house. Because she wants a backyard. She wants food for the kids. All these things. So rather than like, okay, whatever you want to get, you, we, that's what we're going to do. But he did tell her he wants her to cut back with working because, you know, this pregnancy number three, she's like with six months pregnant at this time, you know, kind of slow down, you know, because like once the baby, like you have three more months, then you have what, two months while you're on paternity, maternity leave. And Portia, she's dealing with some things, so she is yet to come back to Dish Nation where Eve is, you know, kind of filling in for her at. Now, Cynthia, Cynthia ready to get married, and she ready to get married last week. That's what she going through. She she asked, she prayed that God would send her a man who was spiritual and was all in love with her. The only thing she didn't say was, make sure he lives in Atlanta. Because her, 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 her name is Mark Hill. Is that his name? Y'all, I be forgetting these names. Like, shows go off and then they come back after months. And I got to re-remember, like, boyfriends. Like, I know Ty because Ty been on her for a while. I know Dennis because that's a good name. But, like, I do not know. I do not. Is it Mark? Is that his name? Mark Hill? I, I'm wanting to say his name. But her fiancé. Now, she been out here looking at wedding dresses. Put them on the gram. I don't know if she's trying to be subliminal. She's telling him what kind of ring she wants. And, you know, she got to plan these things out. And he was like, hold up. Like, I want it to be special, too. I want you to be like, <gasps> when I propose to you. But I don't want you to be making out a plan and schedule for when I do it. Like, no. But that issue is, like, he lives in L.A. She lives in Atlanta. How are we going to work this out? So, at this point, she is bi-coastal. I guess while we filming filming for Atlanta, I have my residence here. And when we're not filming, I'm going to be in L.A. with my man. Yeah, but I I don't... I I was watching the D.O.U. show and he was on there. I know, was he on there? I think they were talking about him because Cynthia's daughter moved in with him and his daughters. Now, what's her name? It's Noel is 19 years old. And she moved in with him. This man is going to be her stepdaddy. And people were like, why would she do that? That's that's really messed up. But, like, he has his two or three other daughters live there. And he looks at Noelle as his daughter as well. She's 19 years old. Her daddy's like, okay, this is a good man. It ain't some just man you met last week or something like that. But, you know, they trying to deal with him. You know, work some things out in their relationship. When he told her he he liked her natural hair, and she whipped off that lid, uh, that wh whipped off that wig, y'all. I was done. She pulled that thing off with the smoothness. And I was like, wigs, they be looking so cute. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, like where they like do the whole install of the wig with the like the little ca the cap underneath and getting the baby hairs and it's looking all realistic. But I like wigs look like they hot, and I can't work. I can't do hotness on my head and my neck. I really can't. I don't even know how I've been rocking these twists because for the longest time, I did not like anything touching my face. That's why I always had flat twists or a ponytail. It was rarely that I had my hair down, but for whatever reason, I'm liking these twists. Well, mainly because I don't really have to do anything. I can just twist them up and I'm trying to do it to where I can keep them in for two weeks and, you know, take them down. Re walk, walk, you know, shampoo them and all the things that re twist them. But I think I'm gonna be rocking twist for a good little while. I'm gonna go past the gear. Y'all ain't even caring about that, so I don't even know where I'm going on and on about. Eva, Cynthia, and Candy, they are eating at the OLG restaurant, and some woman like slips like the um waiter a note saying that she wanted to talk to the ladies at the table. Her name is Sincerely. 
she comes over and let them know that she is the lady who has been all in the blogs who was alleged to have been having an affair with Dennis. She's the alleged mistress. And she wants the world to know that, one, she doesn't even know who Dennis is, and two, she's not nobody's home wrecker, home wrecker, and she's not a mistress. And I just, I know it could be a coincidence, but like, really, this went down at Candy's restaurant, and Candy has met the girl a few times, so... It's not looking good. Because, you know, last season, it was always somebody who was close to Candy who knew something about Portia and knew something about Portia's man. And it seemed like she was being messy. And it's like the fact that Candy knew this girl well, had met her a few times and then the girls popping up um, at them at the OLG restaurant. It, it did. I could see where Portia would get mad and how Candy could kind of look bad in this situation. Now, Kenya, she throws a Barbie three, a Barbie, a Barbie theme. Y'all, I cannot talk today. Party for Brooklyn. Now, this isn't Brooklyn's first birthday. This is a my baby is cute, so I'm gonna have a party type of situation. And she's kind of upset that Mark wasn't able to make this function. I'm like, I could see if it was her birthday or something like that. But like, this is just a party. You just throwing together because you would, you want to throw a party and you want to dress up and you want to show off your cute baby. So, we have several party, Barbies. We have Thirsty Bride Barbie, which is Cynthia. We have Rocker Barbie, which is um, Candy. We have Sporty Barbie, who is um, Eva. And we have, I guess, Pageant Barbie, which is uh, Portia. I don't know who. Uh, I think Kenya said I'm a Barbie myself. So, yeah. Now, Eva says she doesn't. She didn't break her son because she didn't know what was gonna happen in this group, and she doesn't. She doesn't or hasn't had a problem with Kenya, but you know things can drop off at like certain functions, and I was like, yeah, I can see that. Uh, but Portia said her confession was talking about some. Yeah, things have been known to jump off at functions, but like nothing when like the kids were there or anything like that. I was like, I don't remember anybody, you know get into it while we're at a kids function but like you kind of never know and i was like why, why did you come if you weren't gonna bring your child that was the whole point of the party you didn't even, she didn't even stay the whole party it could be like i'm pregnant and i don't really want to be lugging around a baby and being pregnant and being dressed up it's like doing too much but since um portia and kenya have built a friendship um kenya tells she um she tells um Kenya that Eva didn't bring her kids because the last two times she's been around her it's been some negative energy and Cynthia kind of co-signs it. She's like, oh, this is what we doing? I was like, yeah, that's what y'all doing. Y'all on Real Housewives of Atlanta. So Kenya tells her the girl that talked about the alleged girl was sleeping with um, Dennis showed up at Candy's restaurant and Portia says she sure that one of Candy's friends invited her. And I was like, I can see where Portia could have jumped to that conclusion because like, really? Like, while you are there, to, like, granted, Candy owns a restaurant, so, you know, it's a good chance she's going to be there on any, any, any given day. But the time that Candy, but the time that Candy is there, this Sincerely girl just happens to be there. Like, really? And Candy knows since it happened at her restaurant, Portia was going to take it the wrong way, which she did. It's like, so where was y'all at when this happened? So this happened at the OLG restaurant. Like, this is kind of convenient that this happened there. But she's not even mad that, you know, she, it's like, that doesn't make her feel any better that this sincerely girl didn't sleep with Dennis because she knows that this particular girl did not sleep with Dennis. And she knows who done it and it's embarrassing and she's not talking about it right now. It's like, so I was like, who is it? It's embarrassing that whoever it was, I was like, I was, I guess we're going to see it later on down the road. I don't know when Nene's going to be, you know, getting on the scene. Because, you know, she was kind of like put on suspension because she got the fighting in her closet that last season. I'm trying to make sure my hair look right, y'all. Forgive me. So, yeah, I don't know when she's coming back. So, this, it was okay episode. Wasn't too much fighting and a little bit of drama. People going through issues with their men's. So that was suggestive. If I left anything out, Paul. Before you think now, I am here. <laughs> really? <laughs> that 
that would suggest if I left anything out by all means leave a comment below if you're new to my channel welcome feel free to subscribe it's free all day every day free 99 make sure your notifications are on so with my beautiful face puts up a video you can click on it you can like it you can share it with your people and become one of my people if you're returning your family member you want my people welcome back y'all know what to do tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples and this is lady t signing off have a good one i'm keeping all of that in